What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is the day. It's a day that I get super excited about. I know Maggie's gonna be excited about it, which she'll be here in a second. We'll uh, get her in here in a minute. But today is the day that we break out all the sunflower seeds and we start planning for our planting. And what I mean by that is there's some sunflowers that have longer days to harvest or bloom than others. So today we're gonna get the seeds out, we're gonna go through them, we're gonna walk out to the garden, and we're gonna start making our plan for the Sunflower Festival. So I'm gonna let you guys tag along with us as we make our plan for the Sunflower Festival, and you can see what all goes into it on the gardening end of it. So stick around. So I've been storing all my seeds in the cooler room. It is, you know, the coolest spot, which is convenient. Also have a few flowers in here that I harvested at the end of the season here for, for um, these spring blooms. I got some bachelor buttons, some sad looking lysianthus, but these are just things that I will hang up to dry. But, oh, and a little thing to go for you. But anyway, so I've been storing all the seeds in here, so we're about to pull those out. We'll spread them out on the table and go over the ones that we will be planting. So I'm a little bit of a seed hoarder. <laughs> I get carried away, as do many people, when you look at all the seed catalogs when they arrive and you're like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then you don't realize that, oh my gosh, you have stockpiled more seeds than you can ever plant in a season. So this is the day we'll be going through the seeds, make sure they're still viable, and then we'll make a decision on what we're gonna plant. Now I mentioned about the seeds, but this is a lot of planning that goes into the Sunflower Festival. And we'll start on this page for the seeds, but I mean, it's more than just the gardening part. But today, that's what we're gonna go over, the gardening plan, and I think I just heard Maggie. Maggie! <laughs> Good morning! Maggie and I have taken a couple of weeks off because it's been like, oh my gosh, heat index was 117 last week, one day. Yes. It's either torrential rain or a heat wave. Yes. <laughs> so Maggie, I've got a surprise for you today. Uh -oh. Come on in here. I know we talked about cleaning up bits, but guess what we're gonna do today? Oh, yay! Yes, it's that time where we go through the seeds and we're gonna make our plan for the Sunflower Festival. Oh my gosh, so, we got new seeds. I've got more seeds. I, I was just telling them that I'm a seed hoarder, <laughs> as are, aren't we all, right? Yes, we are. But anyway, so we're gonna go through that today and decide on the sunflowers we're gonna plant and then we'll make our board like we did last year when they need to be planted. So, yeah. I brought you. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that beautiful yellow tomato. Maggie is the vegetable gardener extraordinaire. I brought you some cucumbers too. Nice. So that. So Maggie has a huge vegetable garden at her house, not just here. So she is like busy, busy, busy. Awesome. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously separate out sunflower seeds from everything else. And then once we get the sunflower seeds separated out, then we will separate them according to days to maturity. Okay, so, so far, all these are sunflowers, those are marigolds, and these are mostly zinnias. So we're getting there through the process. We're just going through each bin. These are our little sunflower packets from last year. Oh, so excellent. I'm gonna excellent. just sit these back here. Yes, um, yes. sit with your paper here, please. Okay, Maggie just squished some kind of big bug. We have no idea what it was. So these little things are the greatest thing to store seeds. These are actually photo storage that I got at Michael's. And if you wait till they go on sale, they're only like $16.99. And they have all these little containers and I just label them what's in it. And then I throw a silica pack in each one. And I was just showing Maggie, is this the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this silica pack was in with some seeds and it's literally squishy. So it did its job, it absorbs moisture 
So just a little pro tip there. Save all your little silica packs from your Amazon packages and shoe yes. boxes and things like that and throw them in with your seeds. It'll keep the moisture out. Alright. So these are the nibs. Oh look, here's some more things. I don't know if there's yeah, some labels. <laughs> this is what happens when you get busy. And and you don't have time to organize your seeds and it just gets everywhere. So Oh Jim, this one needs a one of the gel heads to get that level. Okay. It's just not doing anything. You know. This one's probably not gonna be any good because you can see it's got mildew. That means there was moisture that got in this. So we might not open up all of this yeah. at this particular point. So that is why you keep a check on your seeds, make sure they're in a cool, dry place. And which is difficult to do here in Florida because our humidity, see this one, this gel pack is squishy too. So yeah. that's telling me that I've got too much moisture going on in that cooler room. So I'll probably have to move these yeah. inside or replenish all my gel packs. Yeah, this one set needs to be looked at. Yeah, this gel pack is good. Yeah, that one's dry. But it was fill this one. Yeah. Squishy. Yeah, I think there's a difference between Yeah, there could be this and some might be gel and some might be um Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the uh dry mm -hmm. yeah, Alright, then yes. Is and I think too these were loose in the cooler room instead of in these cases and that might make a difference yeah, as well. Oh, these are vinca. These are oh, just for vinca. The okay. Yeah. These okay. Are, these are just okay. ornamental, not for cut flowers. Right. Like I said, I'm a seed hoarder. So. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. There. Okay. Uh, these are from 2020. Probably not viable, but we'll just keep on and do a test on them. You can test them by soil blocking. So if you soil block and you have pack of seeds that you're not sure just pop them in there and it should take you know just a little while for them to germinate and then you'll know whether you have viable seeds or not instead of planting the whole packet and relying on the whole packet there's you something madam oh <laughs> why oh. have rainbow carrots in the zinnia pack rainbow i don't know <laughs> we will plant those this fall all right well we're just gonna put this back on top let's scoot through this real quick so we can get all the sunflowers weeded out and then we'll go over the sunflowers. Okay, so as you can see, we have gone through all the seeds. Oh, what those, are. those are some seeds. Uh, we'll just plant those in. Yeah, who knows. But we've gone through all the seeds, and so what we are left with is all of the sunflower seeds. So now what I want to do is we're going to separate them according to uh, days to maturity. This will, this means like when they will start putting out the plants. And we've got our little sticky notepad. We're just going to write on there how many days to maturity and stick it on the front. That way it's a lot easier for us to separate. And then I'll go to the next step. Um, showing you how we plan out our plants. And I always like to write, so it says 60 to 65, since we're so late in the year, some of these are not daylight neutral, meaning they need certain hours of the day, like long days, or like at least 12 hours to grow uh, to maturity. Um, I always go for the last date. So if it says 60 to 65, maybe we always pick the last, so 65, so I'm gonna write 65 days on this little sticky, and we'll just go through there and we'll do that. Here's your pen. And if some some of the seed packets do not say on the packets, um, I know Johnny's is really good about putting it on there, but um, this one's Eden Brothers, and it has all the information, but for some reason they don't tell you days to maturity. And I don't know why they don't do that, but I keep my little trusty Johnny's catalog close by. This is Mammoth Gray, so I'll just look in the Johnny's. Sometimes they have like a little bit different name, but um, you know, as you grow, you'll you'll realize 
you know, recognize that, hey, it's, the name might be different, but it's the same type of sunflower. So this would be a mammoth. I'm just going to look for the mammoth in here. And there are differences in like branching and um, uh, pro cuts. Pro cuts are like one and done. That's how I think about it. So it grows one single stem, one single bloom. So those are used more for like bouquets or cut flower gardens. And then there are branching sunflowers. So you also have to look for that. Let's see. And then if it's not in the catalog, you always have Google. So we can Google that and see. I'm not seeing a mammoth sunflower in the Johnny's, but I do know they sell them. So we will probably Google that one. So Maggie, do you have your phone handy? Yes, I do. So let's Google days to maturity for a mammoth gray stripe sunflower. You could Google anything these days. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it wasn't need to be Google, just send it to me. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. The next one would be Earth Walker. I know this is the time consuming process, but it matters. Like, huge matters, huge, because you won't know when to plant and time to get your sunflowers if you don't plant according to days of maturity. So, Earth Walker is a lot like those, but I'm going to pass that one too as well. This is a new one, Cream Brulee, that I've never tried before. <coughs> it's from Murphy, and of course, it doesn't say either. But we could probably go in the Murphy catalog or online for that one. days which we are fast approaching. Yes. Workshop Lisa Mason Ziegler. She puts days maturity on her packets. She's FYI. She gives a lot of good information on her packets. The only thing is she doesn't sell in bulk. So these are, you know, you have to order multiple packages if you want a lot of sunflowers. That's why I order a lot from Johnny's because they will have bigger, um, you know, larger packages. Need to keep 
keep that in mind. Her new relay is 115 days to maturity. Ooh, we probably won't be planting him. <laughs> It says days to maturity. You might get some on the earlier day, but um, a lot of them will bloom, the branching ones will bloom for a month, so it gives you a good window, especially for something like our Sunflower Festival. Oh, here comes Gideon. Hi, Gideon. How did you open doing? the door? Did you escape? He literally opened the door to get in here. Hi. Hey, but sweetie. Hey, want to help us separate sunflowers? How are you? <laughs> So, Gardener's Workshop, love Lisa. She puts all the info, info on here. Pollen free, they even talk. Pollen free, day length neutral. And then she talks about the colors, the appearance, the attributes of it. Tells you you can sow them indoors two to three weeks, like soil block, or you can plant them directly in the garden. How to cover them, how to space them, days to bloom, and how to keep the blooms coming. Harvest the bloom just as it begins to crack open. So, if we are doing for, you know, for either a U pig or for cut flowers, we will know exactly how to cut them. We are filming. Are you filming? Yes, we are. <laughs> you can get in the video if you want. Gideon did. He just busted through the door. Imagine. <laughs> and there's Pepper. Come here, Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Y'all remember Pepper? We haven't had Pepper for a very long time. Couple months now. Oh, now we have a cameraman. Listen. <laughs> All right. So now we'll come through here and we'll separate according to days. nearly three months that you would have to plant these to plan for blooms. It's crazy, huh? I don't even have a 75. We'll stick him with the 70. And then 60s. we got lots of 60s. So most of the 60s say 55. Some, are, some say 50 to 60, 55 to 60. Those are going to be, for the most part, those are going to be your pro cuts. Now that we have the seeds separated, We'll show you real quick where we're gonna plant them. What is that? Is that a, Lizard. oh, a it's a big skink. skink. Okay, I was like, uh. Yeah. So I ran over a little snake yesterday in the garden when I was mowing grass. It was a black snake, I felt bad, but I didn't even see it until it was too late. Look at that guy. Whoa, let's see if I can get closer. Look at him, he's huge. He's a big guy, but yeah. he likes that sun. Look at him. Can you see that or is it blurry? Let's see. There he goes. He is huge. This zinnia you pig field with a few sunflowers scattered is about to be mowed down. And this entire field will be sunflowers this year for the festival. People can come take pictures and walk through the flowers and just enjoy them. And then we'll have a different area that we're gonna cut from so they can buy sunflowers, but it's gonna be gorgeous come October. 
as you can see, <laughs> it's that time of year where the weeds take over. So this bed here will all come out. That's where the snapdragons are done and the bee bombs. So this whole bed, we're gonna plant pro cuts. Um, we're gonna take out the bachelor buttons on that row, probably the gumfrina as well. There's a few dahlias on the end that we're gonna leave because of course dahlias, you know, everybody loves dahlias. We'll have those in the fall. This row of dahlias will be there as well. So that'll be another row of pro cuts over there. We're going to grow all kinds of colors, aren't we, Maggie? Yes, we are. It's going to be awesome. And of course, the yarrow stays because it's perennial. But all this will come out. So I just wanted to show you the bee balm is busy with little bees. Look at that. They are enjoying the bee balm. So we'll let this lie a little while longer. I talked about that in the previous video. There you go. Alrighty, we're in the greenhouse, and as I mentioned previously, all this will come out. These two rows will all come out. We're gonna grow more pro cuts in here to cut for sale during the uh, sunflower festival. And then look at this, coleus, still going strong. Of course, we've got lemon basil falling over. <laughs> smells so good in here, don't it? it does. And then um, the coleus. Look how pretty it is. This will probably stay. This will go, we'll utilize this little bed here. Sunflowers grow really, really good in this greenhouse. They don't mind the heat and it gets adequate light. So yeah, we'll take advantage of those two rows to grow the cut sunflowers. As you can see, some of the beds in here are, have shrunk in size just from us pulling stuff and you know, dirt gets washed away, whatever. When we get our load of compost in, we'll come in here and top all these beds off. Of course, we'll make a Another video for when we get the load, the truckload of compost. That's like buying a truckload of gold these days. I just want to give you a close up of this beautiful coleus. So this is my first year growing them and I'm just going to let them flower and go to seed and see what happens. I'm not sure if like once they flower, do they start fading out like other things or do they just keep producing? But, I think this is my all-time favorite coleus. This is the watermelon. So pretty. Then I did notice that this Bourbon Street is also going to flower. So pretty. It is hot, Maggie. Yes, Let's it see. is. Okay, Miracle's are right there. It says it's 82, but gosh, it feels way hotter than 82. All right, T. So now that we have them separated by days, we're going to separate them by type, either branching or single stem, because the branching ones are the ones that we want to plant out in the big field for photos and things like that. And then uh, most of the pro cuts or single stems we want to put in the garden and the greenhouse to be able to cut those for bouquets. Okay. So I'm just going to right off the bat separate these ones that are over 100 days because we are way past that already. <laughs> so how do I tell if they're single or branch? Okay, so if they don't tell you on the packet, let's see, then we'll have to look those up online as well. Some of them I know just, if they're pro cuts, they're automatically single. Single stems, right here. Pro cuts, pro cuts. Yeah, most of the shorter day lengths are going to be pro cuts. Okay, so this one, see it says uh, branching sunflower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sor Soria, I'm not really branching. sure how to say that. <laughs> All right, Goldie Double, branching. Soria, branching. So all these are branching. All right, and then of course, Lisa, she puts on there single stem. What is she single put? stem. What is it say single stem? At the very top it will say single stem. Semi double. No, that's just uh, that's just the head itself. Oh, okay. Single stem sunflower. So that one don't say. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Vincent's choice is a single stem, but okay, that one's in here. Look and see. I'm pretty sure I saw Vincent's choice. So this is Vincent's fresh. I don't know if that makes a difference. These are all the same. All right, we might have to 
Google that one. Let's see. Zohar. Vincent's Choice. Here we go. Vincent's Choice. Stay length neutral. Single stem. So where are you putting your single stems? I'm just at every right here. Okay, these are single stems. These are branching. Yeah, these are the pro cuts. Right, branching. Branching. Earth walkers, I'm pretty sure, are branching. Branching. Oh, marigold. Ooh, okay. <laughs> branching. <laughs> Cream brulee, I'm pretty sure those were branching as well. Um, those were these new on a burpee this year. Let me see if I've got a burpee catalog. That's cream brulee, like a golden color. Pretty. Okay, that, that gets us everybody. All right, did I do branching? So the cream brulee is branching. All these are branching? Um, yep, branching. Chocolate cherry. I'm gonna look that one up. Chocolate cherry, it should be, it's a burpee, so it should be branching. So while Maggie's looking that up, I'll just mention this. Branching sunflowers, you have to plant them a little bit further apart to give them room to grow because when it says branching, it literally means that they will branch out. Um, some of them, okay, just for instance, let's do the uh, Sanja or the Soria. Um, it says branches are 35 to 48 inches. Y'all, that's a lot. That's a huge plant. They sport four to six inch balloons. Um, so you've got to give them room to grow. So and typically we've been planting those like 12 inches apart, sometimes 18 inches apart, um, you know, in a row this way. And then of course you give yourself the same space that way. It's okay if they kind of grow together, but you've got to give the branching ones room to branch out to get more flowers. Yeah, this is branching. Okay, I, I thought it was. So let's see, this chocolate one here says uh, stem length 10 to 24 inches. And, so, and most of the branching ones bear pollen, and the pro cuts are pollenless, meaning they don't get the pollen on your table. That's why, you know, from your bouquet. So that's why a lot of those are used 
for the single stems are used for with these because you can plant those closer together and they will give you smaller blooms and not that big broomstick stem. Some of these will have like a stem like a broomstick, literally huge, but the um, Pro Cuts will give you a smaller stem and they work better for the case. So. All right, so now that we have them all separated out for days, like days to maturity, we'll go and on our board back here, we'll make us like a legend of, you know, the days to uh, maturity and we'll put a date to it on the calendar. We'll count back the days and if this takes 95 days for us to start getting flowers, then we'll count back on the calendar what day to plant these and then we'll list it on the board. That just kind of keeps us straight, <laughs> excuse me, keeps us, yeah, straight, keeps us on track when we know like, okay, Tuesday when, you know, we come into work, we know we have X we have you know this type of flower to plant and um, of course by then we'll know exactly where it's going to go to so I've got to work on that garden plan as well so let's get the calendar all made up So Maggie and I work on Tuesdays and Thursdays together. She she comes and volunteers on the farm here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if there was a date that fell, say like 95 days fell on a Sunday, we just moved it to Tuesday. So that's why um, I put days to maturity here, but we moved it, you know, a day or two, we shifted either to the left or the right of the date just to correlate with the work schedule. So. We've got um, our planting dates, and then over here, I've got if it's branching or an S if it's single, and you can see most of the singles, like I mentioned before, take less days. We do have sun-rich gold up here. I think that's the only single one that's further away, but most of them are later. So we've got our planting days, and now we'll um, separate the seeds you know, into dates, even if they're um, branching and pro cuts. Um, and then when I make the garden, actual garden plan on, I have like a big board that's got like all of our beds and stuff listed on it. Then I'll, you know, make some sticky notes outside of each one of those beds to say what goes where. So our very first one that we're gonna plant would be the mammoth gray. And those are the huge, huge ones. What does it say, Maggie, on the mammoth gray? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it gets tall. Height is up to 144 yeah, inches. Yeah, so it gets like 12 inch, 12 feet tall. So we're going to try to just line the fence with those. I think that would be really cool looking for the, the huge sunflowers. I've never grown those. And those do make seeds, right? I'm pretty sure they make sunflower seeds for the birds or people. But anyway, so yeah. So that is the plan. And our next step will be when I go, I'll you know do it tonight or something. I will make... Um, Oh yeah, and it says direct sow, so that's that's good. But yeah, so I'll make the garden plan tonight and then in the next few days, we'll get the tiller out and um, you know mow, every, mow the field down, pull everything out of the beds that needs to go, and then we'll till it up, get our compost ordered and get it laid out. So we've got a lot of work to do. But anyway, well, thanks for watching and tagging along and kind of seeing our method to our madness. And we hope you stick around for the next one and see what the next step is. Remember, you can buy your tickets already for the Sunflower Festival. It's going to be a great, great time this year. I can't stress it enough how much fun it was. And we are going to have lots of flowers for you to enjoy. And tell your friends, go to our website. It's www.blackbarnblossoms.com and you can buy your tickets there. So thanks for watching and remember, bloom where you're planted. <laughs>